Okay, well thank you for watching this video. Before we start looking at mechanisms in more depth, I just want to take you back just for a few seconds at a video that we've done previously. So just bear with us for, for about 30 seconds and we'll get right back at, at looking at these uh, mechanisms in more detail. The first telltale sign that you do a service is your handle. You'll see this one here is sat nice and horizontally. If your door handle starts to drop, then it's time to call us in. Another telltale sign when we talk about the grinding is when you're having to push the door shut to lift the handle, or you find yourself pulling the door towards you to lift the handle, or you feel yourself having to lift the handle as then you lift it. All signs that the door is no longer aligned and over time will create more damage to your door. Okay, so in this video, um, as promised, we're going to have a look inside the, the gearbox, sort of the inside of the inside of your door. Uh, I'm not going to bore you silly and, and tell you the name of every little piece, and uh, we're just really going to have a look at it, just so you can see uh, exactly what we're talking about when we're talking about the fragile parts inside the door. So, um, this here, so I've already taken the screws out, that's uh, those there. Um, this, this piece here actually came from a door um, that, that had failed and was locked shut and the part that had caused it to fail is this here that had broken off on the inside so it's not a particularly big piece here uh, but it made all the difference so I'm just going to go ahead now and, and carefully take this off so we can have a, a look inside and there we go and you can actually see here where the, that piece came from there's a, another piece just behind it looks the same um, and this will have been operating the mechanism inside and what this piece had actually done at the time is it actually got wedged just behind the latch here so when we've arrived to this door um, we've been able to unlock it with the key we've been able with the handle to to pull back all of the multi-point lots or hooks in the rollers that were a part of this mechanism but because that piece had broken and gone in behind the latch the latch wouldn't retract and that was the only thing stopping the door from opening. Of course, what would have happened if it not got stuck there, no doubt this piece would have drifted somewhere else and caused something else to break at another point. But once that snapped off, this at any point was gonna stop this door from operating. Had the door been serviced, we would have completely, um, uh, well, it, we wouldn't need it to have done the replacement. We could have just kept this door working. But because over a prolonged period of time, after the door had dropped, there was an excessive use or excessive force used on the handle to close the door and you can see the handles only here and that excessive force had caused that little piece to break from just here but you can see just by looking at it without looking at each individual piece and what it does I think you can appreciate just by looking at this here just how fragile these can be and if your door's not well looked after or well maintained and serviced regularly or you know sort of annually uh, that's that's sort of the risk that you're running it's a far more expensive repair to replace this as opposed to just servicing every 12 to 18 months depending on on how your door feels or how much it's used so that's uh, that's everything about the inside of the of the box um, thank you very much for watching I hope you found this useful I hope you might have learned something and um, if you want to see some more information about UPVC repairs there'll be a link on there on, on this video for you to go over to that. Um, our website's on the screen now, helplots.com. Come and give us a visit. Um, if you're watching this on social media, please share it. I'd be really grateful if you could do that. Um, if there's something that you want us to know or, or that you want to know or you want us to do a video about for you, leave us a comment. We can always make more videos. That's another problem. So give us some feedback. Let us know what you think and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much.